Now to a breaking news update. More than two dozen charges just filed against the semi-truck driver, accused of slamming into a school bus carrying the St. Ignatius hockey team. Let's get right to CBS 2's Chris Ty live outside the school tonight. Chris? Joe, Erica, we're learning there's video of this crash that shows the bus almost escaping the accident, but in the end, that semi-truck come racing through that intersection, clipping the back of the bus, spinning at 180 degrees, flipping it on its side, sending 16 kids to the hospital and ejecting one student athlete from that bus. At 8.06 Saturday night, this semi-truck was being sought by police for swerving, driving off the road and into other lanes. Police say 58-year-old Victor Santos of Brooklyn, New York, was behind the wheel. Two minutes later, this bus, filled with St. Ignatius hockey players, was just exiting the intersection when the semi clipped the back of it, spinning at 180 degrees from due north to due south. The boys are going to make it through, and they're going to have just a community to help them heal. That community, that healing, has now begun both in an Indiana hospital and here. It just reminds you how fragile life is and just to be grateful for every day. On this day, hundreds packed the church at St. Ignatius as two of their own remain hospitalized. Those two, and only those two, were able to watch the service on a private feed in their hospital beds. I was back home just getting updates, just hearing about everything that's happening. Moses Rogers is on the hockey team but was not on that bus Saturday night. It's been really hectic, but we're all really supportive of each other. A support system on full display Monday afternoon. Everyone's been so supportive throughout this whole thing, and you can really feel that love and that care everywhere. The Chicago hockey community really rallied, and it's uh, really nice to see. The suspect here failed a breathalyzer test. He's being held on over $75,000 bond. It was the junior varsity team that was in that bus. It is unclear whether they will take the ice again this season. The varsity team does have a game on Thursday, a hockey match on Thursday. It is expected to be a very emotional night on the ice. Live on the near west side, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. Yeah, I'm sure, Chris. Thank you very much for the update.